Aha. Uh, stalker alert. That. Come on, dude, get in there. Not this again. It's just like that time when my my parents and I got ambushed. This way, hurry. Okay, let's go. Good man. Move. I think I'll take you as a partner instead. How about that? <laughs> All right, let's go. Hustle. Music is just so good too. Perfectly fits. What the? Is not good. What are you waiting for? Get over here. Uh, yeah. I'm trying. Come on! Jump! Sword. You all right? Let's go. Okay. <sighs> wow. Amazing, oh. ain't it? Just look at this gate. It's like nature meant for us to build a stara right here. A stara. I like it. <laughs> the rest of the fifth are already here. You're the last to arrive. Okay, Nasty. set him oh, down here. Take a nice. Leave the tape off your shoulder. Hold still for a bit. Hey, you guys made it. Be right back. You're alive. Had it rough, huh? Hey. When we couldn't find you two, we were starting to sweat bullets. You scared us. We were talking about going out to look for you. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Hey, we need a hand. Sorry. Come on. Catch you later. <laughs> <laughs> this here's our trade yard. I guess the name says it all. Look at all the people. The stuff. Incredible, right? We've got it all here. We've got hunters to do all the exploring, scholars to do the research, technicians to keep them going. This place is the beating heart of the commission. Wait here a sec. Commander, I found him. Welcome to Astera. I'm glad you made it. Somehow I knew you would, though. When you've, you've been in command as long as I have, you start to learn who is capable and who isn't. Now, as much as I'd like to get you up to speed, I'm being pulled in about eight directions at once. We'll cover the important matters at Council, which I'll be convening once things settle down. I expect you two will be there, of course. Your reputations precede you. The guild spoke highly of you as individuals. Think what you can do as a team. And before I forget, your furry friend was looking for you. Poor thing washed up not too long ago. Go ahead and have a look around, Astera. A horn will sound when it's time for council. Well, off you go. Finally, somebody can tell me about okay. Eider. I'll give you the grand tour. Let's start by looking for your palico. This is our stockpile. They carry most of the basic necessities. You should drop by later to see what they have. Hmm. Do they have a new partner? Because we're getting, uh... Getting tired of this one already. <laughs> He's somebody more reliable. Next is the smithy. It's this way. Over here. Hmm. Who are 
the commission's fifth fleet, right? Wow, this is the old place. man in charge. My grandfather was with the first. That was a long time ago. Me, I'm not with any fleet. Born and bred right here. Never even been to the old world. Wow, so this has been around a lot longer than I thought. Makes sense. I mean, it is really well developed, isn't it? Huh. Never even been to the old world, he said. That's nuts. I mean, surely they... They have the chance if they want it, right? Here's our smithy. This is where you can craft weapons and armor. You'll be here a lot. Wow. Yes, I will. Look at Look this. Look at this place. Want to check it out? Hell yeah. This looks amazing. Ooh, it's toasty in here. Oh yeah, I like it hot. Next up is the canteen. Let's check it out. Second fleet master, how you doing? And you? Oh man, that is one fantastic looking forge. Awesome. I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in that room. I can see that now. If anything, just for the atmosphere. Wanna get going? Yeah, let's go. The canteen? I am so there. Yeah, I don't mind a bite to eat right about now. It's been a rough mm. day. Where is here. Eider? Washed up on shore, he said. Poor thing. Some good camera work going on here while you're cruising around the uh, the base tour. This here's our canteen. Some of it I'm doing up other parts. The game is doing. Hey, over there. Is that you? Eider chan. Hey, you! <laughs> <sighs> uh what about me? I knew you pulled through. <laughs> I want a hug. Right. We're calling for a council. Come on. Yeah. Now that you are all here, let us begin council. After tracking a migrating elder dragon across the sea, the fifth fleet have finally arrived in Astera. Give them a warm welcome. They're a fine group. Worthy comrades who will help see the Research Commission's long efforts finally rewarded. Would you like to say a few words? Thank you, sir. We're ready to roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty. Yeah. This here is the Commission's core team. You should all get to know each other. Looking forward to it. Now, down to business. The latest monster to make the Elder Crossing is known as Zora Magdaros. Huge monster with a mountain of fire upon its back. Yeah, we had a run in with it. <laughs> we noticed the fire. The Research Commission's job is to discover exactly why the Elder Dragons are migrating to the New World. Hmm. Elder Dragons have been with us since the dawn of time. Altering the ecosystem, reshaping the land, leaving disaster in their wake. Once every decade or so, they flock to this continent. But for what reason? With the Fifth's help, we will find the missing link. Here, here. Now we're talking! Hunters, for the time being, I need you to focus on investigating our Jagras problem and securing Astera. Start by investigating the Jagras' habitat. Find out what makes them tick. And we'll go from there. Right. We're on it, sir. Yeah. That's all I Everyone got. else, you know the drill. Make sure these hunters have everything they need. No. Now we're talking. You two, make it a priority to learn how we do things around here. You'll find good teachers, so don't be afraid to ask. You heard him. Stick with me and you'll have no problems. The fifth banner promises a change in the wind. It's your job to fulfill that promise. I don't think so. Is that Troy Baker voicing that, that other guy? I don't know. All right. Dismissed. Kind of sounded like him, but maybe it was just my imagination. Mm-hmm. 
Not even here a whole day and already got your first mission. You really are ready to get your hands dirty. Well, let's go look into this juggler's problem. But you'll need a weapon first. Over here. Is a box full of equipment you can use in your quarters. Come, I'll show you the way. Alright. I'll start by taking a sword like yours. Maybe. Do you like me some gray sword action? But head inside your room so you can grab yourself a weapon. Yeah. But it's always good to experiment and try out different weapons. Some weapons are a lot better uh, to use on some w monsters compared to others. Might have a really hard time with one particular weapon on a monster, but then switch up to something different. Might make the, the monster a whole lot easier to deal with. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> the first, first time I played Monster Hunter. We've placed some basic gear for you in that equipment box. Make sure to choose a weapon that suits you. Oh, I love this, man. This is so cool. This is this is my room, my quarters. I got a housekeeper. All right. Cool. Uh, yeah, let's take a look. I guess inside of our item box. Change equipment. A tutorial. Different weapons offer different combat experiences. That's basically what I was saying, yeah. Great swords hit with devastating force, while the sword and shield allow for quick mobile flurries. The heavy bow gun, while unwieldy, fires powerful blasts and so on. Choose any one weapon and take it to the field. You can visit the training area after equipping a weapon by speaking to the housekeeper in your room. There you can practice with your chosen weapon as much as you'd like. Armor sets are comprised of five pieces. Each piece offers some amount of defense plus equipment skills to aid you in your hunts. You can mix and match pieces however you like to suit your playstyle. Use the L2R2 to view the gear's stats and skills. You can save equipment loadouts to quickly switch to your favorite gear combinations. Yes! <laughs> gear loadouts. Thank God. Okay. Exit tutorial. Yeah. Um... I'm also going to be spending quite a lot of time in this place, too. Uh, so, currently we only have a hunter's knife. Let's see. A bagpipe? There's a freaking bagpipe? Are you serious? A special support weapon hunters use to gain or provide various buffs. Oh my god. What? That is so cool. Oh, I cannot believe they put a, a freaking bagpipe in this game, that is so awesome. And I now this looks like it could be a lot of fun. A lightweight weapon that lets you vault into the air and control kinsects. Control kinsects? That looks absolutely amazing. Dude, look at that. It's so dynamic. This one, huh? The iron axe. It's basically a switch axe, isn't it? Um, this is also a lot of fun. Kind of a, a nice hybrid between the, um, the longsword and the greatsword. Oh, man, I don't know. I, th I think I'm gonna go with this one, though. I'm gonna go with the, uh, the blade. Iron blade one. It just looks so freaking cool. We we'll have the chance, I'm sure, before long, uh, to switch things up and, and do something different. <laughs> Meowdy Meowster, <laughs> did you know you can forge equipment I can use over at the smithy? Yes, I kind of do that already. Palico status, change palico equipment, sell palico equipment. Huh. I don't think we have any extra equipment at the moment, so we're just going to have to go with that stuff, I believe. Okay, yeah. But that's really, really cool. I love being able to customize like NPC buddies and you housekeeper I know this looks like some old closet with a turn we that we turned into a makeshift room for you mew hunters but that's not the case I promise it's fully furnished <laughs> with everything meowster needs you have your very own equipment box where you can manage and change your gear all right cool I just hope you don't mind changing in front of others because you have roommates. Didn't they tell you about that? No? Oh, okay. Moving on. 
The room also comes with an area to manage your Palaku's gear, right next to your bed, even. Convenient, right? Yeah, thanks. Oh, one more thing, if you need access to the training area, just come talk to me. I am here to Linda Paul 24-7. <laughs> now that you have access to the armory and provision snug pile, grab what you need. Once you're done, go meet up with your handler in the canteen to sign up for a quest. Yes, I am Handlers excited. Sort the research commission's leads. And the ones they deem worth our attention become quests. Hey! What? Over here. Oh, cool. We can ride those? Seriously? Eider, you here? All right, cool. Uh, hot. Oh. Uh, canteen, third floor. Uh, I was kind of hoping that we would actually see the lift, you know, in action as we would go. Hello there, how are you? C canteen, right, canteen, sorry. Um. Meow Skiller Chef. <laughs> That's awesome. Ah. There you are. Right on time. Okay, partner. Time to get down to business. The guild teamed us up for a reason. From now on, you're my hunter and I'm your handler. I'm the bread to your butt My butter? What? <laughs> God. Okay. <laughs> the fifth fleet's first mission is to survey the Jagra's habitat. Then we gotta call a number of them in order to secure the area. We can depart as soon as you sign up for the Jagra's of the ancient forest quest. You ready? What are we waiting for? Born ready. The new world awaits. Let's go. I'm a butter yo brag girl. Listen. <laughs> Quest. I'm sorry. I got a, I got a perverted mind. Uh, <laughs> the Dario quest involve objectives such as slaying monsters to get started. First, to accept it right. Okay, complete these missions to advance the story. There's optional quests. Include favors for NPCs. More will become available. As you meet the necessary requirements, you can take on optional quests as many times as you like. Oh, okay, so they're essentially repeatable quests. And special quests are issued by the resource sensor can only be taken a limited number of times. Investigations. Okay, so that's probably, if I had to guess, would probably be for earning some kind of special mats or something like that. A limited number of, you know, times through these uh, investigations. But they sound important. Events, special quests, are exclusive, exclusive to online play. Really, I need to look that up. What do they mean by special? What what's special about them? And why? Are, and is it just exclusive because it's multiplayer? But well, we're not like missing out, are we? Like if we're not playing multiplayer, I need I need to look that up. That's a really interesting feature right there. Okay. Jagras of the Ancient Forest. Reward money 720Z. Time limit 50 minutes. Slay 7 Jagras. That's it. Pretty standard stuff. Try not to faint more than three times. <laughs> Other monsters available. Aptonauts and Murnus. Alright guys, I'm back. There's actually been a huge break in between like where I just left off and now I've been running errands do doing all kinds of stuff and I also went out to do some more Pokemon Go stuff and it was nuts like I oh that's cool I ran into a, a group of Japanese guys that uh, that were Pokemon Go players hardcore Pokemon Go players and we were we just happened to meet at the same raid that was going on for a Kyogre and after the raid, they invited me to join their group of like 130 plus members. I was like, what? All right, cool. <laughs> All right, this is our first job. 
Let's do a quick review of quest rules. Rule number one, complete the objective to complete the quest. Easy, right? Uh, yeah, I'd say that's pretty easy. Each quest has an objective. You can't consider really? the quest done until you complete that objective. Oh, really? <laughs> Our current objective is to eliminate a specified number of Jagras. Let's check the map. Let's. Oh, we I was going to do that. We ran into some Jagras on the way to base. The small monsters, remember? Mm-hmm. I think we saw them somewhere around here. Want to check it out? Sure. Rule number two. Use the supply box. The commission supplies us with a loadout of certain items for each quest. They're in the supply box over there. Have a look and decide what you should take along. Ready right. to go. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah, supply box is what? Over here? Is this it? Supply box. Oh, yeah. I'll take those. Hey, Easy ration. <laughs> Empty file, uh, old file, nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I, I won't take it, I guess. Okay. Well, I got potions and meat. Ida, are you coming, right? Yeah? Coming along? I'm prepared for anything myself. Leave your palico behind? Hell no! You are coming with me, girl. Let's do this! Going this way? Going? Uh -huh. I... I guess I'm following you, huh? Uh, item bar. Oh, I see what they mean. So if I press square like that, it switches circle that way. Okay, cool. And then just press square to uh, to use the item. All right, cool. And then I guess by holding L1 also, we get like shortcuts, change ammo. Gotta use the D-pad to change here. Oh, uh, you can also change via this wheel too. Okay, I see, I see. There's our grill, nice. Yeah, I think we get it. All right, moving on. Jump down. Yeah, we were right here just before. Well, well, well. Look who Ready we have here. Attacking. Keep in mind that what you're able to do depends on whether or not your weapon is drawn. Yeah? Now, which one of you... Gathering items, you'll generally want to keep your weapon sheathed. Which one of you I boys wants to give me a ride? monster positions on the wildlife map for you. Well, well, well. Look who's back. That's right. Me. Remember when you didn't want to give me a ride? Uh-huh. Or was it you? You all look the same to me. Yeah. Yeah, you better keep walking. That's what I thought. You can gather honey and mix it with a potion to make mega potions. Yes. Yes, I can. That's right. All right, cool. So it's gonna be take me take me a while to like get the visuals Over down here. here of like recognizing what's gonna be what. Like, okay, needleberry, right? Used to make spread ammo, right? Right. A pack of Jagras. Those Where? are the monsters we're after. It's Let's okay. See how you hold up when you're on your own. We can just hide in a bush and then ambush them. <laughs> All right, sorry. Ooh. Oh, yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? What you want? What you want, fool? What you want? Uh, where are my other teammates? Oh, wait. They, yeah, they wanted to leave it to me, I think they said. Oh, this You're weapon is run. amazing. Don't let them get away. Uh, what about loot? <laughs> Grab all the monster materials you can. You can use them at the smithy. All right, which is it, man? You want me to chase them or you want me to loot? Because <laughs> I was going to loot. First of all, we can find these fools again. There we go. Yeah. Over here. Yeah. What's up? Oh, I like this. Good old mining. I found you a nice item, Meowster. <laughs> Whoops. Surprise, bitches! Oh, this weapon! I freaking love it! Whatever you can. Ah! Alright, maybe I'm getting a bit... Whoa! That was freaking good. 
I think we're getting the hang of this. Yep, last one. Okay. Woo! <laughs> Ten seconds. Fifty seconds went by fast. That's alright, we're gonna be slaughtering these guys all day. This is really just, you know, the, the tutorial fight to get you started. You know, and uh, used to the basics of questing, right? <laughs> I just eating this sausage. Oh, it's classic. Look at that freeze frame right there. I love it. Look at all. Wow, that's a lot of items. Jagra scale, hide. What's the difference? Oh, two of them. Okay. Monster Bone S, Sharp Claw times two, Armor Sphere, Bitter Bug, and Mandragora times two. I'm gonna keep them. Send them to my inbox, I see. And we're good. All right. What's this? Items gathered by Palicos. What do we got? Herb, Needleberry, Iron Ore. I'll take it all. Since we have basically nothing, I will take everything I get. <laughs> Level two. Gadget proficiency. New cutscene has been added to the gallery. All right. Fun work taking down those Jagras. Hmm. So there's no difference in their habitat, but their numbers are increasing. I see. Uh -huh. It may be stating the obvious, but the Jagras aren't the only danger lurking around these parts. We've also received reports of a Kestadon, Kestadon herd getting out of hand. This must be all because Zora Magdaros made landfall. It's got everything riled up. Listen up. Well, it's going to be your job to quiet them down. We'd like you to investigate this Kestadon herd and cull their numbers. Sounds like an easy job. I'm going along. Wouldn't want you to get hurt. What? Come on, man. No respect. No respect at all. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this first video of many Monster Hunter World videos here on the channel. I mean, like I said before, I have been waiting for at least half a decade now since Monster Hunter Portable 3rd for a game like this to come out. Monster Hunter is back home where it belongs on PlayStation. Aside from these Let's Play style videos, I'm also looking into other types of uh, tips and tricks videos, helpful guides and stuff like that, things that I'm learning that I think that new players coming after me uh, will find useful. Until then, I wanna know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Click the like button to support most 100 videos here on the channel and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next video. Thanks again for watching. This is Kinetic and I'll see you next time.